Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Mario & Luigi Partners in Time. In the last episode, we made it to Yoshi's Island, and we thought we were going to have a happy, happy experience, but then we remember what game we were playing. All the Yoshis got eaten by a monstrous you, and we got to go ahead and try and save them somehow. We also got to get our Cobalt Star Shards back from Baby Bowser, and we saw Kamek recently, so that means we must be hot on the trail. Let's go ahead and save the game. I got ourselves a new photo. That's a nice little photo right there. And let's keep on going. See if we can reach Kamek. He said he wanted to see us make it this far. Well, we're about to give him exactly what he wanted. Normal spin jumps don't do it for you. Why not try a thrilling twister jump? I feel like this uh, move has like very inconsistent names. First it was like the toes were twirl or the toes were twist. Then it was like the hurricane spin or the hurricane jump. And now it's just the uh, stinking whatever they said. Uh, babies, can you get up here or are you stuck down there? Also, are there any beans down here? Yeah, they're not a bean, but it's a block. Another word with the touch of the B. A oh, B? And hello. We do not want to fight those guys just yet. Uh, Mario and Luigi, head on this way. Uh, phooey. God darn it, did not want to fight them. Uh, I guess we'll show off what running away looks like. Just lose a bunch of coins. Uh, we only lost six. It wasn't too terrible. You do have a chance of tripping, losing a bunch of coins at once, so thankfully that didn't happen. Just wanted to get these guys so that we could get uh, experience for everybody, because that's always a good thing to do. And I guess we could show off these guys a little bit more since we didn't get to see too much of them in the previous episode. Go ahead and get rid of them. I just love the name, the Coconutter. Uh, jump. I think they have a fake out attack that could happen, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, just jump again. And we're good! I'm pretty sure you could hammer them even if their uh, spears sticking out, so don't worry about that. Maybe Mario gotta level up. Uh, well, that looks pretty good. Not as good, not as good, not as good. Uh, either stash or HP. We'll go with stash. Uh, five. Very, very nice. Oh, yeah! Level up for baby Luigi. Uh, okay, okay. Ooh, that looks pretty good. That also looks really good. Uh, go with defense, I guess. Six! Very, very nice. I'm always, like, second-guessing myself, and then when I get a high number, I'm like, oh, it was worth it. Uh, go first strike, unfortunately. Got another combo meal right here. Do this, and this. So I guess, like, the main reason why I'm recording all these in bulk right now is just because, like, I completely messed up my sleep schedule, so I haven't been able to sleep at night for the past couple of days because I fall asleep, like, right, like, later in the day, like, right when it's around, like, 7 or 8 o'clock, and then I wake up, and I'm not able to sleep, and I absolutely hate That's, like, one of my biggest fears is, like, just not being able to sleep because it was, like, a year, I think all of 2015, I was not able to sleep through the entire night once. It was absolutely horrible. It was a complete nightmare. Which is in so much pain and like it's just agonizing because you want to sleep, you have nothing else to do, and you like you like you have no energy to do anything, but you can't knock yourself out. And it's just like you're stuck in a limbo of just suffering. So it was really singing crummy. And I did not want to fall back into that because I completely messed up my sleep schedule with finals. And also with Smash Ultimate. I blame Smash Ultimate for messing up the sleep schedule. Like, with how much I just disliked it, you'd think I would have stinking, like, not been so obsessed with finishing it. But still, the challenges this time around are actually very tame compared to uh, some of the older challenges and stuff. So I am very tempted to 100% uh, it and, like, actively work towards it. But I just need the sleep, god darn it. I also haven't finished Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, so I need to go back and work towards that. Is it me or is it like a lot more difficult? I was expecting it to be easy because it's like a modern Nintendo game, so I was expecting the game to be easy, but I'm having a hard time with it actually. It's uh, actually kind of challenging. I'm not excessively catching Pokemon, so I guess that's where my problem's coming from. Uh, that my Pokemon just sort of under level because I only get the Pokemon that are necessary to catch. Uh, I am trying to catch them all, it's just that I'm not catching like multiple ones just for the sake of level grinding, but I fight every trainer, so I thought that would have been enough, but no, I keep on dying anyway, so uh, it's kind of Ako Taco that's been turning out like that, but whatever. Uh, but yeah, I, those games definitely messed up my sleep schedule a lot more than I was expecting them to, so I just need to get that fixed. So that's sort of why I'm just keeping myself up. I I think I'll record this entire chapter or whatever you want to call it, and then uh, I'll try to make an attempt at sleep. I'm not tired at all right now, so uh, that's sort of a problem. Uh, we need to go back over here and use the hurricane spin or twist or whatever you want to call it. You could call it the roly poly -oly for all I care. I just want to make sure we actually get stuff done. Spin over here. 
And then we can just go over here. Nah, not like that, though. That's sort of a speedrunning tactic. You always gotta say tactic. You never just say, like, a quick thing or a shortcut. No, speedrunning tactic. Uh, just jump up here. And what do we got? We got more coconutters. Uh, I guess we'll jump on them. Or at least try to. Okay, there you go. They Oh, those are two different attacks. So you can throw the spear away and like the, depending on the eye that glows, it will show you uh, which character he's going to attack. And then the coconut over here, he just changed his uh, spear to be upward and you make it so you can't jump on him. So we get to see all their attacks now. And that was very lame. I guess we could show off uh, what the smash eggs look like with the bros. Uh, basically the same as when we was with the babies, but instead you're using A and B. If it seems like it's a bit tricky for you, or like, for whatever reason, we just want to pass it on to the next bro because like you weren't prepared or whatever. Uh, toss them higher with baby buttons to kick them for more power. Okay, so that's what it does. It makes it more powerful if you use the babies when you're in piggyback mode. So you go ahead and do that, and then you just hit it like that, but it is a bit harder to hit. Uh, do that, and hit like this. And yeah, I messed it up, okay. I just really don't like using those things. How's about we show off the ice flowers instead? Go ahead and press B really quickly. Very, very samey to the other one, so uh, nothing really too special, but I guess we got to see some blue balls this time around. Uh, they did lower defense. Oh, they lower offense or defense? I think it's offense actually, so that's kind of nice. Uh, let's go with smash eggs again. Let's do that, just because we have so stinking many of them. Alright. Just sort of uh, tricky to get the timing right, but... Okay, we got rid of one enemy, so it's not completely wasteful. And we get... Nothing! Hooray! Uh, let's use another one, why not? Just to make the battles a bit more exciting, so we're not doing the same old song and dance of jumping and hammer. Uh, there we go. Thankfully, that turned out the way it did, because I sort of messed up with Luigi back there. Get that experience. And oh yeah, I forgot about the fact that we get more experience, because we're using the EXP pants. So, maybe it actually is in our best interest to use the Smash Eggs a bit more often. Okay. I catch what I'm doing here. Maybe I shouldn't be so stingy with my items. Uh, how do I get up there? Can I baby? Oh. Can I baby? Can I get back up? Thank you. Uh, over here we got a block which contains three green shells. Uh, nothing else over here. Jump, jump. Uh, do not mess that up. Use a spin. And completely fail. Cool beans! Except not actually any beans. Uh, there we go. And made over here. This block is a one-up mushroom. Always nice to see, and I did not mean to do that. Uh, whatever. Hit this, and it'll allow us to bring the babies up here, and oh, hey! It's also a secret passageway that will presumably help us get rid of that fire. Uh, get them down here. And they could have just gone up here on their own, huh? So I probably didn't need to bring the bros down here. Oh, well. Uh, we're gonna bring them back over here. Sorry for making this a bit awkward. Spin over here. And yay! I did it. Uh, babies, get up here. And jump. That. And I remember that I could jump on them normally without having to worry about the spikes, because it just reveals them all immediately. 1997, Judgment Day. I was early. One day I'll know what the references I'm actually making are actually from. Uh, let's see, what do we want to do with this? Uh, do you want to fight us, buddy? Will he not fight us when we're chubby and stuff, because it would be inconsistent with the battle or whatever? I think that might actually be it. Uh, are you actually going to come down? It just doesn't come down. Do they not come down in general? I want to fight you. I want the experience, brah. Help brother out here. He's just not going to come down. I'm a jerk. Okay, fine. Just won't even bother with you. Jump down here, and we'll squirt this thing. Kind of lame. I never like skipping out on enemies, but that guy didn't give me any other choice. Make our way up here, and we got more stinking coke gun nutters. I don't even know how that hit me, but whatever. Lucky! Get all that, and an ultra mushroom. Very, very nice. Alright, just because I'm probably bugging the heck out of everyone, I'll go ahead and heal. 
Uh, let's go ahead and heal baby Mario and regular Mario. Uh, use a bit more on him. And we're good. Uh, by the way, I just wanted to mention uh, something I always saw in this uh, pause menu the with a Mario hat over there. I always thought it was like on top of a mannequin head. It was like a head that was like keeping the hat from wrinkling or folding up or anything like that. But that's a clock that's right next to it. I thought it looks like a head with like eyes and a nose or something like that. But no, it's just an alarm clock or something. Uh, whatever, just something I always saw, and maybe you guys could see it too. Okie dokie. Uh, they ran away for some reason. I guess the ones with sacks do have valuables within them. Maybe they give you more coins or experience or something like that? That was weird. Okay. Get that money experience. Got a smash egg, which is nice. Sorry that I just, I'm not like encyclopedic with these sorts of things like there's some games I was just talking about this with uh, a friend of mine uh, I do enjoy the fact that I could just remember things about games no matter how long it's been I'm not completely 100% photographic on every single game I've ever played but I remember the gist of it to where I don't need to research it beforehand and the game is simple enough to where I don't need to do that sort of thing but there's certainly some things that I don't know about it that uh, like knowing what enemies drop or what uh, the HP of every enemy is all that jazz, but I don't really want to go out of my way to research all that stuff because it just makes it seem a lot more robotic and I feel like I'm not uh, just having genuine fun playing the game and learning it for myself because I like being able to re-experience these enemies and like uh, remember their names and when they appear and stuff and just being caught off guard in that sense. There's a lot more fun and natural that way for me, so that's sort of why I go ahead and do it like that. Mario gets a level up while I'm having a deep talk with all y'all. Uh, it's good. Uh, attack's looking really good. I just don't want it to end up being a failure. Uh, of course it's a failure! Because why wouldn't it be? Uh, probably should have just held off on it once more. HP looks really good. Uh, so does defense. Uh, HP 6! Okay, Luigi, you're stepping it up a notch. Baby Mario gets a level up. Uh, that looks really good. Uh, I'm gonna go with HP. Five! And baby Luigi gets a level up. So the bros are 11, I think? And then the babies are 12. Uh, the HP looks really good. Uh, speed looks incredible. Uh, I'll go with speed. Six, very, very good. Let me just check real quick. I want to see the levels of everyone. Uh, yeah, the big bros are level 11, so they're lower levels than the babies, though they just, the big bros do more damage in general, so you don't really see the power difference between them. Uh, just jump up here. And we got more bean spots. Go ahead and dig that. I don't know what beans are doing inside of clouds. Uh, maybe they're planting a water plant and making rain or something like that. I don't know. Goo goo! Goo goo indeed. Uh, since I know you're gonna run away, I'm gonna go ahead and fight you first because I want your treasure and I want your experience. Speaking of treasure, did I mention Joker being a Persona 5 yet? I, in case I didn't, I'm just insanely excited. I was at the midnight release for Smash Ultimate and like, that news dropped while I was waiting in line and I just started choking in the line because it was so stinking incredible. I was so stinking happy. I made a top 10 list of my top 10 most anticipated fighters for... Smash Ultimate, and I mentioned Joker as an honorable mention just because I really didn't think it would ever happen. But, my god, I'm so happy that it is, and I feel like I did talk about this, so I'm just gonna stop talking about it now, I apologize. Sorry for repeating the topics, and, like, if it's on this LP, it was in another one, but, I don't know, I don't expect you all to watch every single thing I do, though it would make me very happy if you did. You can always go back and watch old LPs in case, uh, uploads are kind of slow. I got 60 plus LPs on my channel, so hopefully there's something of to your liking on here uh nothing uh else for us to do up there so we could jump up here uh use ah god darn it oh yeah you can use the b button while you're floating to cancel out if you want to but this one's kind of awkward you gotta like wait for it to fly out not too far though because you need to have it like somewhat in the middle so you can reach the other side uh and then do that and there you go go ahead and pick them up land on the switch and go on through well, we've reached a dead end, so hopefully some sort of epic plot maneuver happens that allows us to do something different. Uh, this result in a different photo. Uh, for the sake of the new photo, at the risk of messing up the recording, let's do it! Didn't even get a new photo. Uh-oh, better have been worth it. I did not mean to hit that twice.
So, like, judging by that angle and animation, like, basically he's facing away from the cookies and grabbing them from behind, just, like, stuffing them in his face. That's a weird way to go about eating cookies. I don't know why they animated like that, but whatever. Prince Bowser, little bites. Oh, here, have some more milk. It's uh, from an evil cow. Was it Prince Moob? Prince Moob? Like, I was thinking of, like, Moo and Shroob, and I thought of Moob. Like, man -boob. Nothing quite like good cookies and evil milk. I was a little creeped out at first hanging out in this ghost town, but then I realized there was no one to stop me from eating every cookie in sight. Yes. Yeah, it's been great. It's been. Ah, baby alert. Grr, what are you chumps doing here? Aha. You followed me all the way here to swipe my treasure, didn't you, you scum? Huh? Not just the treasure? You want the cookies, too? Wahaha! <laughs> You've gotta be kidding! You stole the treasure in the first place! So you're the bad guys, duh! So all this stuff is stays mine! This! And those! Stinky babies! Prince Bowser, take it easy! Uh, cookies! Leave this rabble to me. You just go walk it off, your hungriness. Grr. You punks got lucky, hear me? Stealing food? Who does that? You'll pay for those cookies. Oh, alright, fine, fine. Can't make I'm counting on you to finish these snackaholics. Ooh. You guys are really starting to chap my shell. I'm gonna yank all those mustache hairs after I beat those cookies out of you. Not every day we would fight the actual Kamek, but here we go. We gotta fight him. So, he's got uh, presumably a lot of magic attacks, but I would recommend going uh, strong on your first attack while you don't have to worry about them. So, Cannonballers ahoy! Pew, 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 pew! Get ourselves Y, B, A, X. 90 damage. Very, very nice. Uh, he's using magic to do that. Oh, God. Do not hit the mushrooms because you get healed. If you hit it back at him, then he'll, he'll get healed. So you don't want to do that. Yahagwa! Ooh, which one's the real me? Uh, I'm going to assume it was the one who was talking. Is that how it works? So here's the thing. If you use like a smash egg or a cannonball or like it's just going to phase through and like hit the ground so we can't is it is that how it works uh let's see if that's how it works or not uh no it isn't how it works okay cool so you could use these eggs to your advantage i think it's the yeah oh i thought it was that one because it was the one where the speech bubble was coming from and of course i hit the last stinking one okay i'm not sure if it's always like that but at least we got to see which one was and we got a one-up super in the process so not all bad uh, so now we're going to use the cannonballers once again, just to completely decimate this fool. Got ourselves a Y, a B, an X, and an A. Y, B, X, A. Y, B, X, A. Everybody say A, 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 X! So he's already without his broom. Oh, this attack's kind of dangerous. Uh, kind of a slow moving fire, but then he hurts himself and runs towards us. Use the hammer. Uh, we haven't used a green shell in a while, so let's go ahead and do that. And that's why I never use the spin attack, because I always get messed up. Uh, let's try it again. This time without any spinning, except for the first one, because I think I can get away with it. Uh, did we run out, or did they run out? Uh, we just ran out of hits. Okay, at least we maxed it out how many times we could use it. Uh, then he gets hurt, switch the hammers, and hit it- Oh, god darn it! Wow, he beat Mario. Uh, let's go ahead and use a 1-up, get him back here. No Mario of mine is gonna be sleeping on the job. Oh, yeah! Uh, use a shell once again. Hit him, like so. Oh, uh, of course I messed it up. Uh, okay, what's gonna do now? Oh, he's got a new broomstick. A new just I was actually kind of worried that the fight I'd be making the fight a bit too easy because of uh, how many items I was using, but it doesn't seem to be the case. He's got a lot of HP. 
Uh, let's go ahead and use a, a smash egg. Hopefully we could not get on the last try this time. Uh, though I'm not sure if it's rigged like that. Oh, no, it isn't rigged like that. Cool. So I was just super unlucky last time. Now I'm super lucky ducky. Except for the fact that I didn't get an item. But I beat him tonight. Yes, I did. And he wasn't even cool enough to get that big old explosion effect. Yorg. Yorg. Yorg indeed. Like his face. Grr, unbelievable, a stupid dead end. You mushroom munchers. Eat my cookies, will you? Fine, I'll eat the treasure instead. Oh, no. Wow. Yum, those shards were delicious. Do not try this at home, kids. Hey, what what are you Lego? Lego my ego. Oof! Yerk! Uh. Uh, hello. Must be pretty cramped in there. The top of the UFO is supposed to be their heads, and those are their eyes. Kind of a crummy UFO, all things considered. Uh, this can't be good. This can't be better. And this certainly can't be the best. Who's the Luigi's Mansion sound clip? I like that game. Babies. Mario's the only mama for me. <laughs> wow, Luigi, you can't even entertain yourself. Cookies are more entertaining than Luigi. Oh yeah. Thank you very much. Ah. Yeah. Hmm? Oh, this is awkward. I surmise we're inside that beast gastric chambers. Young Bowser and his belly full of star shards should be in here somewhere as well. I suggest we find him and get out of here with all speed. Not exactly sure how he got separated from us so stinking quickly, but whatever. We are in the belly of the beast. It's not looking very good, but we'll make a way out of here somehow, right? Eventually. Even, he's gotta go eventually, you know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, we'll have to deal with that in the next episode. Next time on Mario & Luigi Partners in Time, we are going to explore the inner workings of the Yube. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.